Hello and welcome back to our video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload and use existing PDF and JPEG 2D drawings. So we're going to start a new project here and we'll call this one import project. And from my project type, I'm going to select from drawing instead. In our, our first videos, we used empty project. Now we select from drawing because we want to upload a PDF or a JPEG. Then if we're going to turn this later on into 3D, you might as well select your project settings here. So we're going to select the ceiling height of four meters and we'll leave all the others as it is. And now I'm going to click create project. And instead of coming into easy design main view, we go into our own computer and we can select the PDF or JPEG. And I selected this one. And here we see it. And now it's very important. When you bring in your layout like this, it's not in any real scale. We're going to need to calibrate it. But first, before we do anything, I'm actually going to decide to uh, hide my grid just to make it look a little bit cleaner. So now we need to calibrate the scale. And I'm going to explain it, but if you uh, need help, we have an import guide showing the steps that I'm going to go through now. So what I do is I need to know the distance of something in my layout. And the longer distance I know, the more accurate the uh, scaling will be. And in this sample, I know that this section right here is just about 18 meters or 18 meters exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on one area, click calibrate scale, then move out, left mouse click and move. And I can pan using my right mouse button to my endpoint and mark it very accurate like that and say it's 18 meters and click OK. Now the entire layout, if we zoom out, has been scaled accordingly. So now we have the layout and just by measuring one wall with the real distance, it calibrates. And before I start doing anything, I'll show you a few of the options here. And one is called move image. And if we click that, I'm able to move the image. So for instance, over there by the zero zero point. And if the layout is not looking angled the way you want, you can select rotate angle and perhaps change to 90 degrees and click change. But you can make minor adjustments like two degrees or back to zero. Change. Perfect. And also another cool feature is called hide part of drawing. Maybe I want to remove this wall because this is an old wall that's not really there any longer. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in, then I click on hide part of drawing, then I go out and I left, left mouse click and move like this. And I create lines by each click. And when I close it up, it becomes green like this. And if we zoom in, I can move these nodes a little bit like this. And when I'm happy, I click outside and that wall is now gone. It's still there if we click, but it's hidden. So that's a really cool way of removing information in your layout using the hide part drawing. Now, if you want and you're in a hurry or you're sitting with some customer, uh, you may just want to furbish the layout in 2D and you can then just quickly go to objects Find your equipment that you want to add, just like this. Go into the library, find your equipment, and place it wherever you would like it to be. And, of course, make a copy, just like that. And we'll add some more over here. Simply click, 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 and click and just keep on building the layout. But now the only thing that's 3D are the objects here. It's still just flat, but I can now actually go to 2D print and get a preview. And now you see I have an updated PDF or JPEG that I can print using the print options that I showed in an earlier video. 
But we can, of course, also turn this into a layout. But before I do that, I show you how we I removed one of the walls, but I can also in 2D add another one just by selecting the draw room option, click and move and perhaps double click over here. Now that is semi-transparent, but when we leave the, the import menu, it's going to be the uh, same color as the rest of the layout. But what I do here is I just added a new wall and then I can go to print. That will actually look like this, like it's zoomed in to this wall. But if we go over here and click on show entire PDF drawing, we see the full print again. But if you remember, we removed one wall and we added a new one. So now what's only, uh, if we try to go into 3D, we would only see one wall and the cardio equipment over here. But for 2D purposes, this is perfect. We just updated the customer's PDF without doing much. We scaled the layout, we added equipment, we did a hide part of drawing, and we added a new wall. But if we close this, I'm of course able to turn this into 3D. So I'm gonna click draw room button again, and then I'm gonna click and follow the lines very quickly like this. And you can zoom in and be very accurate if you want. And we can adjust afterwards, just like this. Oops, sorry, I need to make an intersection right there and create another section here. Perfect. You're able to move the nodes or move the entire wall like this in a perfect position. And what you see here is everything is semi-transparent. We have created a floor, so if I click here, it becomes gray. I can access my room property menu for this room. And also the walls are semi-transparent, so you can easily see where you should place gaps like doors and windows. But Instantly, I can go into 3D, see what we're doing so far. And we're right here. We have the cardio. If we look, look from top view, that's what we've created so far. And of course, you can continue and uh, build uh, the entire structure of this layout. And once you're ready, we can close the PDF and decide not to show it. And we see just my drawing but you can always click on show PDF and bring it back again. Now, another tool, and we'll close this so we just see our easy design layout, is some, you may in some cases experience that, okay, the scaling was not 100%. What you can do is afterwards, you can click on one of the walls that you've created, and in your wall property menu, you can go down to rescale layout, click on it, and it's going to tell me that my current wall length is 18.21 meters. I wasn't really accurate when I was scaling it. So I'm going to select 18 and click OK. And then it rescales to 18 meters. And the entire layout is rescaled accordingly. So that is how you use the JPEG and PDF import option in Easy Design 4. Thank you very much.